one of the true pleasures of this job is drinking just amazing gins and just spirits that generally I live in a glut of excellent and delicious um, spirits at the moment. As you can see by my many, many reviews, I'm having a blast. And one of the gins I've really liked lately is uh, the Blushing Pink Gin from HM Gin from the Melbourne suburb of Plenty. So without further ado, let's get into the review and see just how good this stuff is and why you should drink a lot of it. I'm not one to blush, but I tell you what, when I want to blush, I want to go and blush with the uh, HM Pink Gin, which is, um, according to when I put my glasses on, the uh, gin that has Australian raspberries and strawberries in it. And by no knowledge tells me, sound of happiness, this baby has got a unique ingredient in it. In fact, it's actually got coconut sugar in it. So I'm going to pour a bit of this in so we can see the pink. Sorry. Enjoyed myself a bit too much with this baby before. End of the bottle. <gasps> Oh no! It is pink, see? It's a blushing pink. So, we've had the sound of happiness. Let's go for the smell of happiness. Oh yeah, it's a basically built on a dry gin. Um, the nose says fruit. Let's see what the taste of happiness has to say. The taste of happiness says don't share it with the other half, okay? Um, that's 43%. It's built on a nice dry base. Um, it's got the burn and it works. Not bad for a distillery that was founded in the middle of a pandemic. Mind you, some really good things came out of pandemic, including the channel which you've just hit subscribe or follow on. So, actually, subscribe. Catch you around. Um, this is going to be a Christmas pudding gin reviewed. Watch this space with this stuff. It is just wicked. Why eat your Christmas pudding? And you can drink it. That's what I say. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Follow.